Hey guys, Jeff Brower here. Today is Tuesday, the 18th of June, and I'm holding an open house here at one of my listings. I just wanted to say something real quick. Last month, I went to a million dollar listing. They were having an open house and one of my buyers could not attend. They were out of town. So they asked me to go on their behalf and I show up to the listing and I walk up to this million dollar home and out comes the agent in flip flops and a cut off t-shirt. Now, this is one big pet peeve of mine. As an agent, I am representing the home and I want to look professional and make sure that the buyers coming into this open house know that the prof there's a professional on the other side of the transaction representing the seller. So that is why I always go above and beyond to make sure that I'm representing the home properly. When you have someone that's gonna be wearing flip flops and a cut off t-shirt, it just doesn't speak very well for the property. Now, of course, if I'm out there in the field, you know, in the shores and islands region, if I'm in flip flops and one of my buyers calls me and says, hey, this property popped up, I wanna go see it in a half an hour, I'm gonna go right away to get the job done. But this is not just a whim when you have an open house like this. I've had this plan for a week. I've known what reference documents I'm gonna bring and have printed out. I've known where my directional signs are gonna be placed around the neighborhood, which they're placed all around leading us in. So this is not something that's just on a whim. And I knew exactly what I'd be wearing. I had it picked out and hanging in my closet for the last week because I wanna be able to represent the home correctly. And that's why I wanna look professional when I'm holding open houses. So if you guys are interviewing agents, make sure they show up looking professional. And one other thing that's a big pet peeve of mine when you're interviewing agents, make sure they're looking you in the eyes. Make sure that they are giving you a solid handshake. You don't want someone whose eyes are just darting all around when you're asking them questions. And that's something when I'm interviewing for a professional service, I want the person to be answering the questions and looking me in the eyes and giving me a solid handshake. So that's what I do when I'm interviewing with my clients. And also I never ask just for the job. You'll notice on Facebook, you know, or if you, if you meet an agent, they'll say, oh, I'm very happy to help you. I never ask for a job. What I ask for is to interview for the job because I know I am confident in my abilities. One of my biggest value propositions is that I'm one of 52 in the state, uh, realtors in the state that also has their home inspector's license. So I am confident when it comes to homes. I know I can go up in the attic, I can go in the basement, I can look at things and help my buyers or my sellers. And I can't, uh, in, um, I cannot inspect, excuse me, inspect a home where I'm a realtor in the deal that is licensed law, but it helps in a million ways. So when I'm interviewing with my buyers, I let them know, hey, when I'm walking around with you in a home, I'm gonna be looking in the crawl space, I'm gonna be looking in the attic, and I'm gonna give you guys my opinions. And when I'm helping a seller like this, when they have a, a buyer, when they get into contract, and the inspector comes in and picks the house apart, which we are trained to do in home inspector school, I know that I can go in there and rebuttal anything that might be incorrect. I've had many, many occasions where I'm helping a seller and the buyer's agent asks for a reduction in the price or this long list of repairs, and I go through that list with a fine tooth comb and make sure everything is accurate. I've had plenty of cases where I've been able to refute findings and get those uh, re reduction price reductions or repair requests dropped. So that is my value proposition. So if I can ever interview with you, I'd be more than happy to. And you can damn well bet that I'm going to show up looking my best in order to help represent the home in its best light. Hope you guys have a good Tuesday and a good week ahead. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.